G'day, welcome back to Nick Does Maths. Today we are playing around with reduction formulae. Here is an integral. I n is the integral of coset to the power of n of x. We need to show that this is true. Let's start with that, then we're going to use it. Okay, classic one here. We can see an n minus 2, i n minus 2, which tells me we're sort of going to want to be using trig identities, integration by parts. So what we're going to do is we are going to split that up. And in fact, classic move, we're going to split out a cosec squared. Now, why do I want a cosec squared? Well, first of all, I've got that n minus 2 appearing from here, from here. Probably a good start. But also, cosec squared, we can integrate directly. And that's good for us. So we're going to use integration by parts. So I want one of these to differentiate, one of them to integrate. Well, funnily enough, I'm going to integrate this guy. I'm going to differentiate that guy. So we keep this one, we integrate that one. Now cosec squared integrates to minus cot x. So that will give me minus cosec to the n minus 2x cot x minus the integral of differentiate this guy n minus 2 cosec to the n minus 3 of x. I've got to differentiate cosec, which becomes a uh, minus cosec x cot x. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. And then I need to integrate that. I'm going to pop it here, because we're going to simplify this massively in a second dx. All right. So what have we actually got here? We've got that i n is minus cosec to the n minus 2x cot x minus, minus, minus. We've still got a minus. Let's crack on with that n minus 2. Cosec to the n minus 3 cosec, which is cosec to the n minus 2 of x. And then I do get a cot squared of x dx. All right. Now we want to get away from this. The only integral I want left is i n minus 2 over here. So let's play around. But we do know that cot squared is cosec squared x minus 1. So we can expand that. i n is minus cosec to the n minus 2x cot x minus n minus 2, the integral of, so cosec to the n minus 2 times cosec squared is cosec to the n x plus n minus 2, the integral of cosec to the n minus 2x dx. Apologies if that's looking a little bit small for us. But now we can make everything look a little bit better. So we got our term here, which we want. We wanted it from the very beginning. We can see that in the expression. Minus n minus 2 i n plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. And we should get proper excited. We'll move this term over to the right hand side. So I'll end up with n uh, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 i n, and now we have 1. All right, and that's all we need. Just one last tidy up, divide through by n minus 1, and we will get exactly what we wanted. Everything we've ever wanted. OK, part A done. What we're going to do is we're going to take this off because it's all written up here, and then we will do part B. Bom, 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 bom. Bosh. So, part B. Funnily enough, part B just makes absolute use of what we just did. So, we're going to use our identity with n is 6. 
So this is equal to 6 minus 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. 6 minus 1 is 5. I n minus 2. OK, so we've reduced that. Minus, now we're going to have to plug some numbers in here. Cosec to the 4x cot x over 5 between, what was it, pi over 3 and pi over 2. Now let's figure this one out. Uh, cot of pi over 2 is 0, so that disappears. Now we need to plug it in at pi over 3. Cosec of pi over 3 is 2 over root 3. Cosec of pi over 3 is 2 over root 3. Yes. So we will get, oh, I can't do it in my head. Minus, but we're doing the minus, we'll get a plus. Uh, 2 over root 3 to the power of 4. Cot of pi over 3 is root 3 over 3. We've got that 1 fifth. I'll tidy that up in a second. Right, so now we're back here with n is 4. So now we need to go again. So that is 4 fifths times n minus 2, 2 over 3. Cosec squared x dx minus uh, cosec squared x cot x over 3 this time, over 3. All right, fine, I'll deal with this one. Uh, what have I got? Uh, that's a 16 root 3 over uh, root 3 to the power of 4 is 9. 27 times 5 is 135. Oh, that's good. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. So that's, that's looking quite nice. That's looking quite tasty. OK. So uh, 4 fifths times 2 thirds is 8 fifteenths. And cosec squared, we can integrate. Cosec squared becomes minus cot. All right. And then we get the minus 4 fifths of this plugged in. And again, uh, cot of pi over 2 is 0, so that's all going to disappear. So minus the plus. Cosec of pi over 3, we've already said, is 2 over root 3. squared, I've got the cot, which is root 3 over 3, and I've got the divided by 3 times 1 over 3. And I've got the plus 16 root 3 over 135. This is absolutely wild. Okay, what do we say cot of pi over 3 was? Root 3 over 3, so that is 8 root 3 over 45 plus... Uh, 2 squared is 4 plus 16. Ooh, another 16, is it? Root 3 over 5 times 27 is 135. I think we're on to something. Uh, 45 goes into 135 three times, so it's 24 plus 16 is 40, plus 16 is in fact 56 root 3 over 135. Kaboom! Not as bad as I thought it might be there. Nice little reduction formula you want. You do get a good chunk of marks out of this. I mean, eight marks. Um, you just have to keep track of everything. And the real trigger is, of course, if you can't get that first step of splitting the cosec to the end, just practice it a lot. It happens quite a bit. But even if you couldn't, you could still just use that result in part B. And really the difficulty is, is keeping track of all these variables, keeping track of your pi over twos. I pulled it off, the excessive use of brackets, making sure you've kept the four fifths there, and so on and so forth. I believe in you, you can do it. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications to find out when more of this 
top-notch content is coming your way. I'm Nick. I just did done maths. Did done maths? Good enough. See you next time.